Welcome, welcome, welcome to the check-in report. Today's topic, China Mac. Let me talk to you. China Mac has gone on a whole campaign canceling Math Hoffa. Shout out to Math Hoffa. I met him once at a, a, a Kanye West concert back in the day. But China Mac has made it his issue and his goal in life to check Math Hoffa's street credentials, to check Math Hoffa on his hood pass, to check Math Hoffa and what he should and what he should not allow on his platform that he built. No one else helped him. This man comes from battle rap. This man comes from, you know, uh, um, Smack DVDs, URL, Lions Den, you know, different battle leagues. This man comes from that cloth. And he got out of that and became a successful podcaster. And now he has a Chinese man, respectfully, a Chinese man. Telling him that, you know, what he did wasn't hood. Or what he did wasn't gangster. Or what he did wasn't, you know, you know, right. China Mac, respectfully. You are a Chinese man. That grew up around black kids. You know, you wore your hat backwards, you know. You probably had your, your pants down your ass, you know, <laughs> with, your, with, your, with your butt cheeks showing. And, you know, you, you, you became negrofied, if you will. You know, even, even your parents and your grandfather tried to tell you, listen, son, you're not black. You're a Chinese man. They tried to unniggerfy you. But, you know, you kept wearing your pants down, your ass crack. You kept putting your hat back. Would you listen to hip-hop? You know, you had your black friends. And then you ultimately wind up going to prison. China Mac, I don't care how many years of prison you did. I don't care how many black friends you have. I don't care how many hip-hop rap songs you know. I don't care how many you know, gangster stories you have to tell. You are not black. And you have to understand this. You are a guest in hip-hop. And not only are you a guest in hip-hop, you are a guest when it comes to the hood. You don't have no type of hood pass or no type of hood credentials, sir. Just because you got a couple black friends and you you put the hat backwards, you know, after you did your, your, your nine to five at the Chinese restaurant. Listen, sir, you are not qualified to talk about what black podcasters should and should not allow on their podcast, sir. Hassan brought up a great point when he talked about you. And it's honest. And, you, you know, it may be deemed, you know, a little racy, a little edgy of what he said. But the reality is we don't come to the Chinese food restaurant respectfully and tell you how to run your business. We don't go to the, you know, the Korean markets and tell you how to run your business. So what gives you the right as a Chinese man telling a black man how to run his business. This is not your league. This is not your expertise, if you will. Stay in your lane, sir. Just because just because you became niggerfied by a couple black people that you hung around with, you know, T Roy, uh uh, Javon, Tyrone, you know, all your black friends, shout out to them. They niggerfied you. They led you down the wrong path, man. They should have they should have had a talk with you. Listen, bro, I know you like rap music, and that's cool. You keep loving black music. We know you love, you know, you know, 
you, you like drinking Hennessy. You like putting your hat backwards and, and having your pants sag. But listen, man, you're not black. Go, you know, go back to your, your, your father's Chinese restaurant and, 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 you know, live a productive life, sir. You, you, <laughs> I, I, you know, it sounds edgy and it sounds messed up, but it's honest and it's real. You have no right to tell Math Hoffa how to run his business. You have no right to tell Math Hoffa, you know, you know, just because you a street dude and dog, dog. Just because somebody's a street dude doesn't mean they have to take those street qualities and put them in podcasting or put them in business. Some things don't, you know, quantify. Some things don't translate over to that. Math Hoffa's a businessman, a podcast owner. Let this man evolve. You want to keep him in that, you know, in that box of being a hood dude. Oh, you a hood dude, so you shouldn't talk to this person. You shouldn't talk to that person. Math Hoffa is a businessman. Let that brother grow. Let that brother go to the next plateau in life. He done did the hood stuff. He did the, the gun fights and the knife fights in the hood. And then he went to do battles. He did battles with this rapper, that rapper. Now he's getting to another level. New money, podcasting, and doing a great job. And here you want to bring this man down and put him in a box and say, no, you're a hood dude. You're only supposed to do the hood stuff. You're only supposed to live by hood rules. You're not qualified. To tell this man what to do in any in any respect in a in a, in a hip hop respect and in a and in a black man from the, the the streets respect you are a Chinese man respectfully and those are my thoughts. This is the check in report. Thank you for joining me. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and please let me know what you think of Mr. China Mac. Clapping at Math Hoffa. Thank you for joining me.